hey guys hey everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to the channel on this channel we try to cover all things reality tv news and gossip and here lately we have been covering anna chickadee carwell who is the oldest daughter of mama june the past few months we have covered her battle with cancer her cancer journey and unfortunately the past few days we have covered the fact that she did pass away she passed away on december 9th which was i think that was a saturday yes that was a saturday that was also the day of anna's youngest daughter's birthday her youngest daughter kylie turned eight on that day mama june has been keeping everyone really up to date on like every step of what's happening and that is because that was anna's wishes anna got very close to her social media following in the past year um due to the fact that she you know became she she started a tiktok account where her account grew very quickly especially after the announcement that she did have cancer a lot of people kind of flocked to her to check on her and to be there for her and to be supportive of her and Anne had a very like you know she was estranged from mama june and her siblings for a while she was raised by her grandmother so i think having that online family you know was a big support system for her i know i used to watch anna almost every night on tiktok she would go live and she became super close to her followers and one of the things that anna told june from my understanding before she passed away is that she wanted her following to know right after she passed away and she also wanted mama june to live stream her services but mama june and them decided that they would not live stream uh, now they may change this last minute but mama june actually uploaded an instagram video where she said that anna's wishes were for them to live stream the, the funeral but that they had decided instead of live streaming it they were just going to open it to the public for one hour so anna's fans online family could come and actually be there so we're actually gonna watch the video that mama june put up inviting everybody and giving everybody the details of the ceremony is it called a ceremony i feel weird calling it a ceremony um also i do have to say in this video that we're about to watch of june she does drop like some f-bombs she says the b-word so there's some cussing in it if you around your kids put your put your earbuds in because there's some there's some curse words you know what i'm saying so you guys just um be aware of that let's go ahead and let's watch this video no sean don't do that do not do that sean <laughs> don't do that okay guys let's go ahead and let's watch this Hey guys, I'm back at you. And like I told y'all, I would come back. And I wanted to let you know about some things. I know I look a hot mess, but my mind is so emotionally and mentally mind fucked right now. It's like Caitlin said it best yesterday and today. It's like it's so quiet in here. The machines aren't running. She's not sitting in here watching cooking shows. And it's just so quiet. The chair that she was in, you know, nobody is sitting in it right now because it has a blanket and a pillow that she used, and that's where she passed away at. But I'm not coming to you for that. I'm just wanting to share a little bit of what our life is like right now. Is I don't know how to how to describe it. Okay. But anyway, Anna wouldn't have it any other way, any other way, but for me to let y'all know. So y'all, the fans could say goodbye to her. We decided as a family because she wanted us to go live here on TikTok and social media, but we're not doing that. So if you want to, on Wednesday, which is two days away, hold on a minute and I'll check that date. So I'm back. So December 13th at the White Columns in Gordon, Georgia, we are allowing y'all, the fans, after we as a family spend time with her a couple hours before, that we are opening up. So at White Columns, 
funeral home in Gordon, Georgia. We are allowing y'all to come in from two to three o'clock for visitation. At three o'clock, her service will happen and continuously it will be a short but amazing service and so many of her songs and we're doing something for her which is going to be the tina dance with her as one of her last things because as y'all know that bitch loved to do the tina dance for y'all on the couch no sorry okay. on the bed so many yeah. times y'all loved that and when she actually was down and about and she couldn't do it anymore after chemo yeah. y'all missed that so i want to say thank you for loving her Thank y'all for going in and tapping her screen, sharing her live. Either if y'all gifted her, commented, showed her love, telling her that y'all was there to support her. That is what is matters the most. So let's blow up Anna's TikTok. I'm going to tag it down below. Show her some love on her page. You know what I'm saying? Because Anna wouldn't want it any other damn way. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm just letting y'all know. Blow the fuck up her page. I'm going to tag it down below. Show her some love. Go follow her. Everything else. Because let me tell you. Let's go Anna out with a fucking bang, baby, before Wednesday. I know y'all can do it. I've got almost a million followers. I've got more followers. We Let's try to get her account before Wednesday to one million, baby. So anyway... We love you guys. And like I said, it's at White Columns in Gordon, Georgia. Um, you are more than welcome if you want to send flowers or whatever y'all want to do. Um, donate, whatever. Um, but I just want to let y'all know that if you want to say goodbye, y'all are more than welcome. Um, come, come, come on. Let's celebrate Anna's life. Let's show her ideas. Eventually, I am going to make a video so y'all can be able to stitch it. Um, share this out. Comment, comment some memories of her on TikTok. You know, do, do your well wishes. We're seeing them. We're just not responding. But we love you guys. And like I said, I'm getting chills right now because Anna's sitting right here fucking beside me and telling me, Mama, let's go. But anyway, today is going to be a good day, guys. Gonna be a good day, best as we can. But I wanted to come on here and say I love you guys. Like I said again, White Columns, Gordon, Georgia, from two to three will be visitation. After that, we will start the service. Um, you know, and we're just gonna have we're just gonna celebrate Anna's life and do it like she wanted to go out with a bang. But we love you guys, and hopefully, we see some of y'all there. Okay, so that was her inviting everybody to the service. Gordon, Georgia is today. It's going to be today from 2 to 3. That's an hour um, that she's opened it up to the public. She did say that the family had decided they were going to do like a, a dance for Anna. Now, when Anna started going on TikTok after, you know, she found out she had cancer, she would, at first, she would do the TikTok sitting on like the edge of her bed. This was before she moved. So Anna actually, she moved from the house that she was in into I think a trailer and then she moved in with june right towards the end of her life but she used to do her tiktoks from like the edge of her bed so sometimes she would like jump up on the bed and she would do um the tina dance thank you nicolette thank you so much for the super chat i appreciate that she would do this dance um so they are doing i don't know who's not going to do it but i imagine it's going to be june pumpkin alana maybe jessica maybe dodo you know doing that Tina dance, which is a dance that she used to do for her followers and used to do for her followers. I am, listen, I struggle with following, with, with covering this because I do see the comments of people saying, like, if you want to respect Anna's wishes, then why not live stream it? If you want to respect Anna's wishes, like, you know, should you open it up to the public? Listen, Anna was on TV for several years. She. I mean, the fact that she passed away and there's tons of articles about the Daily Mail, TMZ, you know, the Ashley's Reality Roundup, the Sun, like all these outlets are covering the fact that she passed. So that tells you there that she is considered a celebrity. So I do understand like live streaming celebrities, funerals, especially those celebrities that were so personable with their or personal with their audience. Like she did go live. She did connect with her audience a lot. She was not someone that was just on TV and you've seen her on TV. 
She got on social media. She talked to these people. She answered questions for them. And she actually become super close to several people that she met through TikTok. Like they became like her real friends for her. So I do understand, just like um, DC Young Fly, his partner, Miss Jackie O, she had a YouTube channel. She was very active on social media where she talked to her followers. So I do get when you're someone like that, that feels that connection with your fans and your following. So you feel like, well, maybe I'm, they should be there. So I do understand like the live streaming. Um, I'm very nervous about them opening it up to the public because the internet is full of, you just don't even know. Like, I feel like, I feel like them opening it up to the public and I get why they wanted to do it because Anna was so close to her following. But I do feel like this could potentially turn into like a meet and greet. Like people are going to come in and they're going to be like enamored by June and, and pumpkin and they're going to want photos. And we're just going to see a lot of photos of like June with all these people that, you know, that, so I do, I struggle covering this. I'm not going to lie. There's several things and I don't want to say anything that could be hurtful if any members of the family watch my videos. So I struggle with this one. That's probably why I've been having panic attacks when covering it due to just simply to the fact that this is a 29 year old girl who passed away way too young with two young daughters, but also because I do have a lot of like, I see the comments, it's agreeing with June taking custody. I see the comments of people saying they should not open this up to the public. I see the comments of people saying, why is June trying to get Anna's TikTok to a million followers? Like why? You know, um, people saying that, oh, well, when you reach a million followers on TikTok, you make more money. Maybe that's why I see all this. And I, have thoughts as well but i do not want to like pile on them when they're dealing with such a loss so um it'll be today from two to three um i think live streaming it would have been a better option just just because usually when you live stream a service like that the camera is set up at the end of the hall so you you're basically sitting at like the back of the church or the back of the funeral home you're not right up there where you can see that well, you're at the back. So I know like during COVID, a lot of people live stream church services and a lot of people live stream, uh, you know, funeral services during that time when people would lose a loved one, they will live stream them then. So I think live streaming, it would have been, in my opinion, just a better option just to ensure that like, it doesn't turn into like a meet and greet or like the crazy fans don't show up and they're like trying to like cut a piece of like Anna's clothing off to like sell it on eBay or, you know, or maybe Anna, while she did lose her hair during, um, can't, you know, uh, chemo, it did grow back a little bit. She did have really short hair. Like, I don't know. I just feel like, oh my gosh, there's going to be somebody there that's like going to go and like cut some of her hair off to be selling it. Like I would not want to open and like Anna's daughters are going to be there. And now they're just going to have all these people piling in. And I think it would have been safer in my opinion. That's just my opinion. But photos being leaked. Yeah, I think it's going to turn into like a meet and greet. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So. That's where I, we're going to watch a dodo. She put up a little video. Uh, on her Instagram in honor of um, Anna. We're going to watch that really quickly. I did remove the sound because there was music playing in the background, but she says today is going to be a tough one. This, that was a photo of Anna when she was younger. Um, so a song is playing. You will be in my heart no matter what they say. It's a very beautiful picture of Anna. I like that picture of her. There's Anna and Eldridge. And then um, it switches over to that song in the arms of, of the angel. I've had several people comment, you know, because we did a video yesterday about June taking custody of um, Caitlin. And I had several people say, like, comment, like, well, why wouldn't Caitlin's dad get custody of her? From my understanding, Caitlin's dad has not been in the picture and has not been around. Um, from my understanding, like, he has not seen her and like some years and they don't have that bond and I don't even think he would want to step up. I also had somebody comment and say, oh, a judge is never going to allow Mama June to keep Caitlin. Um, but it would never even go before a judge if Anna like signed off on this before she passed and there's nobody that's going to fight her. If, if, if Caitlin's dad does not come back to try to fight 
for this little girl, then they're they're going to let it's not even going to go before a judge. It's going to be she passed. Here's the paperwork where her mom gave me custody. It's going to be, you know, pretty. nobody's going to be fighting her for custody. I also saw some people say, well, I think she's going to end up with um, I think she'll end up with Pumpkin or they should have given her to Pumpkin. But Pumpkin has several kids already in like a two and a half bedroom house. You know what I'm saying? So and Pumpkin is really busy with her children as well as her TikTok business. And I think she has another job as well. Like I've seen her comments saying, I'm not going to go live today because I just got home from my other job and I got packaging and I'm exhausted. So we'll go live tomorrow. How many people do you think will show up in GA? Well, I can tell you one thing. I think media is going to show up. I mean, I've seen people from The Sun and TMZ show up all over the place, you know, just like Arkansas. We was in Arkansas. What was that town that we were in that Josh Duggar's trial was at? And you would be surprised. I mean, there was somebody there from the Daily Mail, uh, the Ashley, the Sun, and, you know, I mean, so, yeah, I think I, I think people will probably... Why is Caitlin's dad not around and is Kaylee in foster care? No, Kaylee is with her dad. So Caitlin's dad um, is not around from my understanding. What I've been told, Caitlin's dad is not around and Kylie's dad is around and Kylie has a relationship with her dad and she is already living with her dad. So Kylie is living with her father. I think Jessica would have been a little bit of a bit. I, honestly, I have not even thought about, I have not even thought about Jessica, but that would make sense. Because Jessica is, I think she's engaged to her girlfriend. Her girlfriend has um, like an adoptive daughter that is not technically hers, but um, like a relative that she took on. But, you know, in like same sex relationships, a lot of times they have to figure out how they're going to have a baby. Like a lot of girls, a lot of like they'll do like IVF where one of the women will get pregnant. But that could also be. Um, a better option. Yeah, Jessica may not be financially stable. I do know that Jessica's girlfriend has a job, like a like a nine to five, eight to five job. And Jessica actually works for Pumpkin now. She actually works for Pumpkin's TikTok business. She does the packaging and shipping a lot. Um, and Jessica also like sells things on her TikTok as well. Um, and then Jessica's on the show. <laughs> She's got some sort of you know income. I don't know how much. Like. Jessica probably doesn't make as much money on the show as, say, Pumpkin. You know, we know none of them make as much money as June does on the show. So, <sighs> Dodo seems like the best option after Child's Father. I do think Dodo would have been a good option. We know that Dodo raised Pumpkin. Pumpkin lived with Dodo for a few years. Uh, Dodo raised June. We just don't know why, you know, why they decided. What they decided, other than what we do know, is Caitlin was June's first granddaughter. We actually saw on Here Comes Honey Boo Boo Anna living in the house with June and having her little girl and June being Gigi, being grandma, you know. So it did say in a couple of articles that Caitlin and June do have a very close relationship. So maybe Anna thought, hey, she's close to my mom. And maybe Anna even asked her, who do you want to live with if I was to pass away? And maybe Caitlin said, I will be the most comfortable with Gigi. So maybe Anna just took those things into consideration. And maybe Anna had faith that June would do better by Caitlin than she did by her, Anna, or Alana, or Pumpkin. And that's, I hope, I hope, you know. But that's where we're at, you guys. Um, I have to go ahead and jump off. My son has a Christmas program at one. Dodo may not feel up to raising another child. Exactly. That's the thing is we just don't know why things landed the way that they did. Dodo may not. Jessica may not. Pumpkin definitely probably isn't. And due to Caitlin's close relationship, you know what I'm saying? So we don't know, you know. But anyways, you guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. I will say, uh, I haven't seen anybody in the comment section in the chat be like disrespectful. Um, I've seen people share their opinions in a respectful way. So, and this one is a hard, hard story to cover. I just hope Anna gets to see, I just hope Anna's girls get to see each other still because these two beautiful babies need each other. I agree. All we can do is pray the girls have a safe, stable home. I agree.
open it up to the fans, but no, the stipulation for going in person with fans might not show up. Like, that's the national one hour, they might allow 100 people to get in. Yeah, I hope they have like security. You know what I'm saying? I hope they have like security work into where I've seen some allow fans just like straight to the casket, stand there for five seconds, walk out. So the father is not in her life. So that's why Caitlin's not going to go to her dad. Someone in the comment se section asked, why not stay with her father? From my understanding, Caitlin's dad is not in the picture. That's not to say that he might not come forward and try to fight for Caitlin, even if he hasn't been in the picture all these years. Who's, you know, we don't know that. You know, anyways, you guys leave me your thoughts. Um, like, share, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on my other social media accounts. I'm trying to grow those accounts as well. So you guys follow me there, and I will see you guys. Um, back here later today. Bye, guys.